Cooper gang breaks into the museum to find the clockwork parts. Sly encounters Carmelita and her partner, Neela. They were searching for the clockwork parts. Somebody stole all the parts. Neela said the claw gang took them. Sly makes his escape. He goes on a mission to stop the claw gang and prevent clockwork from returning. The first target is Dimitri. They sabotage his operations. Sly fights him. Dimitri is defeated. They obtain the clockwork tail feathers. They hunt down Rajan. The team steals the clockwork wings. Rajan escapes from the party. Later, Sly and the gang tracks down Rajan. He uses this forgotten temple to be his new fortress to make the spice. Rajan has the clockwork heart. They destroy Rajan's spice operations. Neela shows up lending a hand. She backstabs Sly. Murray fights Rajan. He's defeated. Murray collected the clockwork heart. Neela and Contessa and Carmelita appeared. Neela betrays Carmelita and the Cooper gang. Bentley must save Sly and Murray. He, f he tracks down Contessa. It turns out she's a secret member of the Claw gang. No shit. She brainwashes criminals, hypnotizing them to reveal their hidden money. Bentley rescues Sly. They go after Murray. They're together again. They chase down Contessa. She escapes onto the blimp. She also has the clockwork eyes. Neela hires a bunch of mercenaries to take out Contessa. The Cooper gang fuel the flames. Sly fights Contessa. She's beaten. The clockwork eyes are obtained. The next opponent is John Bassan. He carries the clockworks, lungs, and stomach. They sabotage the spice trains around Canada. They stole the clockwork lungs and stomach. Sly heads to the abandoned lumberjack camp. It turns out John Bassan has one last clockwork part, the talons. He's holding up a lumberjack games to win the talents as a trophy. They entered the Lumberjack Games competition. John Bassan discovered them. He knocks them out with the talons. They wake up in the sawmill control room. Bentley finds John Bassan. He tells them I he sold all the clockwork parts to Arpeggio. He has them all. Bentley battles John Bassan. He's destroyed. The gang sneak inside the northern light battery aboard the blimp fortress. Sly takes some recon photos in the blimp. He pulls Clockwork's body apart. Arpeggio thanks Cooper for the assemble. I will be reborn anew. Sly replies, you built all this because you can't fly. You're pathetic. I seek immortality. Immortality. So basically, Neela used Sly to take out all the members of the Claw Gang to collect the parts without any suspicion. Arpeggio asks Sly what kept Clockwork alive for thousands of years. He was fueled by the hatred for the Cooper clan. He plans to brainwash everyone in Paris who's been eating illegal spice. Neela ambushes Arpeggio. She hijacks Clockwork's body. She kills Arpeggio. Clockla is born. The Cooper gang work together to disable the engine rooms to prevent Clockla from becoming immortal. Carmelita shows up lending a hand. Clockla is beaten. Not quite. She still has the hate chip. Bentley grabs it. Clockwork's head smashes him. Murray lifts up the head. He, they grab Bentley. They escape. Carmelita shows up. She destroys the hate chip. Clockwork is no more. Carmelita arrested Sly. Sly then escapes the helicopter. Sly 2 is a stealth open world game. Your main objectives are the missions. Each of them are for Sly, Bentley, and Murray. You can explore around the hub worlds to collect items and new items. The coins make a return. They can be used to buy gadgets on Bentley's ThiefNet laptop. 
the gadgets are the game's highlight points. Sly can do a smoke bomb to escape the flashlight guards. He can dodge enemies' attacks. Next is stealth slide. Plus, he can throw alarm clocks to interrupt the guards. He can use his paraglider to glide across the levels, the insanity strike, etc. Bentley has his own separate gadgets. The trigger bomb, sleeping bomb, the health extractor, re reduction, reduction bomb, temporal lock, size destabilizer, hover pack, you name all of it. Murray's power-ups are the fist of flames, atlas strength, juggernaut throw, turnbuckle launcher, berserker charger. Speaking of the gadgets, let's talk about the character's abilities. Sly can use his cane to strike enemies. He can charge it to spin. Those are his melee combo. His old mechanics make a comeback. You have the real walk and the ninja spire jump. They also added a new mechanic for Sly, the pickpocket. You can pickpocket guards for the keys and for cash. Nice mechanic. Murray can beat the shit out of the enemies. Boy, he sure can pack a lot of punch in this game. He can also carry objects and the guards. Benley can also drop bombs. He can shoot sleep darts. These can put the guards to sleep. All right, the collectibles. The green bottles have returned. There are 30 of them in the stages. Once you have collected 30 of them, a vault icon will appear. Sly Cooper gains a new gadget for each episode. The treasure can be used to gain even more coins by trading them on the ThiefNet laptop. You can travel to any world you want to go to, like Paris, India, the jungle, Contessa's prison camp, Contessa's castle, Canada, Lumberjack camp, and Arpeggio's airship. Let's go for the missions. Every mission is very diverse from the other missions. The pickpocketing missions, the sabotage missions, the reconnaissance missions, the demolition missions. They even included mini games. You can drive a couple vehicles, the turret canyon, the RC chopper, a helicopter, the tank. These vehicles are not that bad, honestly. They also included rhythm games. These are all right. Sly 2 has boss fights. These bosses are better than the first game's bosses. Dimitri was a good fight. The second boss was fine. It felt a little broken. Contessa battle was intense. Neela's boss was a gun aerial battle. John Bassam fight was a joke. The final boss was a dog fight. Sly 2 is a fun game, but it has issues. Number 1. I wish I can skip the cutscenes to play the game. This is lacking an option to skip the cutscenes. Number 2. I wish Sucker Punch added a challenge mode to the game. After you beat the game, you get to replay the game all over again with all your gadgets that you purchase just for fun. Those are my gripe with Sly 2. Band of Thieves is a banger sequel. I love how they change it into an open world. You can sneak around, do missions, play as Bentley and Murray, pull off heist. The story is very good so far. I give Sly 2 Band of Thieves a 7.5 out of 10. The reason for that score is because Sly 2 was my first Sly game that I played as a kid. I have memories playing this game and I still enjoy it because this game is so memorable. That's why. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys later.